That goes over the net. Now put in front. Loria shot score. Riverhawks win it. Michael Loria, the game winner in overtime. Loria picked up the loose puck in front, shoveled it over the goaltender, and into the back of the net. Riverhawks win it 3-2. Riverhawks win it 3-2. Michael Loria with the game-winning goal. They come all the way back. Down one, nothing through two, down two one in the third period. Michael Loria with the game winner. Riverhawks win it. Three, two, final. Wow. A terrific game last night at the Sanga Center. The UMass All Hockey Riverhawks winning in overtime. Freshman right winger Michael Loria, the hero. He would get the game winner with just 63 seconds remaining in overtime. It was the only time in the hockey game that the Riverhawks had the lead. They had to battle from behind and do it repeatedly. We learned something about the character of this hockey club on Saturday night. We learned something about their resilience, their intensity, and their determination. Um... One of the biggest things we always uh, talk about is being um, hard to play against in that front. I just sort of just was standing there, turned, and uh, Evan Kellen made a great pass, and I just tried to shovel it home, and luckily it went in. Holds it, fires, loose puck, score! Maine, I believe it will be Byron getting the goal. A scoreless game until late second period. Maine would take a lead, Blaine Byron with the goal, a one nothing lead, but the Riverhawks would respond early in the third, A.J. White finding the back of the net. And then after Nolan Vesey had reclaimed the lead for the University of Maine at 2-1, Tyler Mueller deflecting in an Evan Campbell shot less than a minute later. And then it was a matter of who would blink first. In this case, I guess it was Maine, though both teams played terrific hockey, intense hockey, battling for every cubic inch of ice. The Riverhawks are now 10-3-3 at the break. It is only the sixth time in the Riverhawks' 32-year Division I history that they've reached double digits in wins by the holiday break. And UMass Lowell sits atop the Hockey East standings, a tie with Boston University, the Riverhawks 7-0-2. UMass Lowell now has a 12-game unbeaten streak in Hockey East play. That extends back to last year. Again, the final in overtime, UMass Lowell 3, the University of Maine 2. Yeah, certainly an entertaining hockey game and uh, another very difficult hockey East opponent. Yeah, I thought it was a hard-fought game, and uh, they made it difficult to uh, to transition and get through the neutral zone, and they're a good hockey club, so we're thrilled to uh, to get two points tonight.